Hi YouTube, StuDog here, new video today, and yup, here it is, the moment we've all been waiting for, the deck profile of Pure Cancer. Yes, 60 card deck, zero in the extra deck, I have not made a side deck yet, I might, but I really thought about picking up this deck just to troll it like some locals or something, because this deck isn't that bad, it really isn't. Like, it works, and it flows, I mean, sometimes it can brick, but I mean, the consistency still is there. I haven't bricked that often when I've played this deck. But yeah, here it is, Pure Cancer. I'm sorry if the deck profile looks a little squashed. Problem with doing this on Dev Pro. I mean, I wish I could do this on DN, because it looks a lot better on DN, but the cards just look squashed. And of course, I don't own these cards in real life. It's not that expensive. Like, the most expensive card is probably, like, Cosmo Joe, and then Tin Can, maybe, Twin Twisters. But anyway, without further ado, I'd like to get into the deck profile. And first off, I want to give a big shout out to HollowDude97 on Twitch, who actually was the first technical creator of this deck. He wanted me to play a build of it. Actually, he sent the deck to me, thought it was a troll, and then I saw it. I was like, why not make it? And then I changed some cards and some stuff. But anyway, it actually isn't that fun. And if you just want to troll people, <laughs> feel free to pick up this deck. I mean, the problem is I'll probably get hit in some way, shape, or form on the next ban list, but then again, we don't know when the next ban list is going to come out, but anyway, here's the deck profile. You play three Dark Destroyer, of course, just your number one Cosmo card, three Erebus, three Aether, your number one Monarch Monsters, two Forerunner, two Landwalker, two Karaz, two Slip Rider, and one Dark Lady. So Dark Lady is usually just played in one. It's a decent card, just for your big stuff to summon. I mean, it is a pilot, negates effects, for the Monarch lineup, I mean, just the three Erebus, the three Aether, I mean, it is a 60 card deck, so I mean, you're not going to draw this card all the time, but I mean, with Return, and if you contribute someone for the Cosmos, which actually aren't that bad, he's, I mean, you contribute for Dark Destroyer, and then it's a free 3,000 beater, can't be targeted, destroys a card when it's summoned, I mean, I mean, you also got Edia and Eidos to summon all this stuff, I mean, it's not that bad, and when you tribute for, like, a Landwalker, or even a, you can tribute for Slip Rider, and if you got Return, you can, like, destroy cards and search cards, so it's not that bad. And then the two Karaz, there's a lot of just random cards you can destroy. I mean, you can destroy, like, your own Cosmos, destroy your own Return, destroy your own Prime if it's even face up on the field. I mean, even interrupt your opponent's plays, destroy your, your own Edia. So, I mean, not that bad. We also play three Wicked Witch, one Good Witch, two Farm Girl, I mean, Farm Girl's actually not that bad in this matchup just because you can clear the board easily and the next turn you can just top deck it, summon, and just go for game. So, I mean, two Farm Girl, I know a lot of people just play one, but I still think it's a very good card. I know when Cosmos first came out and first were met, I mean, three Farm Girl was a staple in every Cosmo deck. But, I mean, I still like two. Wicked Witch, I haven't really been drawing it too often, so I might cut it. I mean, this definitely isn't the solid build. I mean, I'm not going to bring this to, like, a regional or something. I'd be more than happy to bring this to a locals to troll because I think that'll be so funny to just be like 60, 60 card deck, no extra deck, and I whip out this cancer on them. Oh, that'd be so hilarious. But I mean, for other monarch cards, you get three Eidos, the three or two Edia. Probably should play the third. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. Still don't know about the lineup. I could probably cut Eidos down to two, maybe two Edia, two Eidos, or three Edia. Two Eidos. I really don't know about that lineup, but I mean, it hasn't really been that bad. I just don't really know what to add in them. I guess I could technically add in maybe a third Prime, or maybe a Mega Monarch, maybe some more Cosmo cards. God, I don't know. But I mean, so far it's been fine. The one random straw man for those situations, and of course, three Tin Can is Tin Can's like the best card ever. <laughs> the best pilot confirmed. Just good with e telly farm girl's good with e telly wicked witch is just all around good card keep it on the field and then tribute for the monarchs for the random situations and then wicked witch if there's probably some cards i would take out maybe good witch and then one of the Eidos and put in maybe a third edm maybe i don't know i still need to do some more testing it's just i've never drawn like good witch once i mean it's a 60 card deck you're not going to see all the cards all the time and i just don't remember myself ever drawing good witch but it's pretty random so for the spells, you got the one for one to summon. I mean, I guess you can go for Tin Can, which isn't that bad. You can go for Edia. There's some synergy there. So there's not just one target you can go for with the one for one. And you also got three Pantheism, three Tenacity, just staple in any Monarch deck. Reasoning, because it's 
freaking reasoning. A free special summon, they're very rarely going to get the number right. I mean, calling 8 would be kind of bad, because, I mean, there's quite a bit of targets, but, I mean, you got level 1s, you got level 2s, you got level 3s, you got level 4s, you got level 5s, you got level 6s, you got level 7s, you got level 8s. So, I mean, I mean, you literally got levels from 1... Level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5, level 6, level 7. You got levels through 1 through 8. I mean, it is a 60 card deck. I mean, if they do call 8, I mean, you're probably going to be playing this early game. I mean, not a lot of times they're actually going to know that you're actually playing Monarchs in the Cosmos. So, I mean, 8 would probably be the best number to call. But there's just there's so many monsters, there's so many cards in the deck. I mean, most of the time when I play Reasoning, I actually get like a free special summon, which is pretty good. We got the one random terraforming to search out your domain or either Cosmo Town, whichever card you want in the current situation. Two Twin Twisters, because it's freaking Twin Twister. You probably could bump this up to three. Definitely some cards you could take out. I mean, you could technically take out the reasoning if you don't think it's as good. Same thing with the Wicked Witch, or the Good Witch, rather, and Eidos. Then we got the two e Telly, of course. Three Stormforth, Staple, and any Monarch deck to return just to search out pretty much anything you need at the current moment. You contribute for a lot of stuff. You contribute for Karaz, Pop itself, Pop the Return, tribute for Landwalker, tribute for Dark Destroyer, tribute for Slip Rider, tribute for, of course, these six guys right here. I mean, pretty nice. Two Cosmo Town, just for consistency. Just all the effects of Cosmo Town are so good, but I mean, if you really, if you have like a Monarch hand and your Cosmo cards aren't getting the job done, you can put back the Cosmo cards and hope you draw into some Monarch cards. I don't know. Two domain, because it's frickin' domain, reduces your stuff down to level six. Well, your big stuff, and then Lux your opponent out in the extra deck, which is so good. Three Cosmo Joe, which is amazing. Non-targeting removal for the win. Non-targeting removal that does not destroy is so good in 2016. And then, of course, the primes, just because it's good to send off your Erebus and Aether, so you gotta play it. It's good to send off with Pantheism, and it's free tribute fodder. And has some decent defense stats. So, there it is. 60 card deck, 0 in the extra deck. Totally a noob deck, man. But, trust me, this is just pretty fun to play. It's not that expensive. And I wish I had all the cards for it so I could, like, troll at a regional. So, anyway. For the next tag duels, I'm probably not going to be using this deck. But, I mean, you can expect me to use this tag deck some... Or, this deck in tag duels some more in the near future. But, anyway, thank you all for watching this deck profile, as always. And... Well, that's pretty much all I got to say about this video. So until next time, this is Stew Dog, and I'm signing out.